Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, video tutorial and also welcome to our comprehensive market scan playlist. So today is our first video tutorial in this playlist. So in this comprehensive market scan playlist, all of our video tutorials uh, will be we'll be showing you guys the real examples uh, how to create more, more advanced market scan uh, by using those you can get some meaningful you know uh, market scan results so this this video tutorial uh, we're showing the examples are based on the basic market scans um, and indicator filters and trend filters if you haven't uh, you have if you haven't watched those video tutorials uh, please go back to their indicator filter playlist and watch trend filter playlist and then you come back here so because in here I'm not going to explain uh, the uh, the basic um, knowledges but those knowledges or um, pre pre knowledges and etc so will be covered in those video tutorials um, so this playlist we don't have a size limit which, which means uh, we will be constantly uploading some um, very good examples to to this playlist uh, if you can subscribe with our uh, video tutorial channel so this video youtube channel uh, you will get informed when we upload new videos uh, tutorials okay let's go straight into this content this tutorial so first of all this is our first example so in this video tutorial we are going to uh, show you guys how to create a market scan uh, that will be using filter uh, trend filters also indicator filters so we have the combination of those filters and then the goal is to find weak stocks candidates the weak stock candidates means those stocks are performing not very good and it could be the candidates for a short um, a short position so you can place short positions on those candidates so that's our goal um, how to find them so let's go into our PowerPoint okay <clears throat> so this is the uh, the first slide so uh, comprehensive mark scan example uh, before we go in before we go um, a little bit further let's just um, uh, let me just show you some disclaimer here so because uh, the contents of uh, this playlist we're going to show you lots of uh, examples for the market scam but uh, this or just the education purpose to show you guys how to use our software um, if you're using those examples straight into the trading uh, to place your trade so you'll be you know on your own risk so uh, yeah that would just quickly uh, show you this one here and help you guys understand okay so the market scan workflow we have been uh, using we have we have showed you guys many examples uh, how to create a market scan uh, the, let's let me just repeat it here um, so first of all when you create a market scan you have to determine the first thing is uh, the purpose of your market scan right what kind of stocks you want to pick up so for example you will have a purpose in your mind you f you want to find all the candidates that you can place short position or you want to find all those candidates that you want you want to play a long uh, position so you have you need to have a purpose in your mind right so once you have that and you need to determine what kind of filter types you want to you want to use um, in our release one we have provided the trend filter and also the indicator filter uh, so you want to use both of them or any one of them so you, you have you kind of start to design your filter uh, combination so once you have that in finished you can start to create filters carefully so make sure those parameters everything's are correct set set it up when you create those filters so once you have created all of those filters and then you need to go into create mark scan and also include all the filters you just created 
and then the next step of course is to run max scan in our application if you get if you get some results uh, make sure you review those max scan results uh, we need to uh, we need to put uh, technical and apply technical analysis on those uh, results right because no matter how to you uh, the market is you know really uh, <coughs> changes and lots of things could happen um, in the technical analysis point of view you will always to apply your your analysis um, don't use those results straight away because some of them might not fulfill other criteria so it's going to be careful so always that essential steps is always review the market scan results and then finally once you've done that you can pick up your preferred stocks into watch list um, and you monitor your watch list based on those results there and you can you know determine what you want to do next okay so this is the basic market scan workflow um, it's very simple and then next slide, I'm going to show you guys what are we going to do in this um, in this example. How can we find weak stocks candidates? So this is the first example. There will be many many combinations uh, of the filters. You can you'll be able to use it to pick up the weak candidates for all the stocks. So this is just the only one combination I'm going to show you here. So let's take a look at the details of this example. So first of all, I'm going to use the trend filter provided divergence scanner to find some bearish divergence candidates, right? So I'm going to use the idea concept of divergence and it has to be a bearish divergence um, to pick up the uh, stocks, right? So this is my first layer of scan. And then, and then I am going to use a very important indicator provided in our application, which is the relative strength mass fill indicator so i want to find uh, I, I want to find all the stocks that their relative strength indicator is weakening okay so the, what i mean weakening is compared to the overall market so my candidates has to be underperform or it is weakening compared to the overall market performance it is you know weakening so i'll find all those candidates so this is my second condition i want to use the third one is i'm going to use the indicator filter to find out the stocks right with the with their closing price is below 30 weeks simple moving average so i want my candidates um, closing price below 30 weeks moving average so this is another uh criteria i want to place in okay so i'm going to explain those details when i'm going to the application okay so let's see the last one the last one is i want to use the indicator filters all right and to find the 30 week simple moving average is sloping down since its last pick so in other words i want 30 weeks moving average is falling down i don't want it pointing up because that means the price in up movement so i want the price that is is moving lower okay um that's the actual condition i've placed in all right i'm going to those key issues later let's go straight into our application um i'll show you what those um scan will be be done here in our application okay so first thing let's go into um take a look the indicators i have to create it here let's go back those here so first one is uh, let's go into the trend filter first the, the trend filters is you open the trend filter management and you go into the trend filters let's take a look at the first one so first one i have defined here uh, is the divergence scanner right so it's a trend filter i'm using divergence scanner combined with the rsi indicator to find out the bearish peaks divergence so in other in order to set up this i pick up the di divergence scanner and pick up the rsi indicator and i'm going to scan weekly chart and the function i'm using is bearish picks divergence it, and the return value has to be true because i want to find all the um, candidates with the rsi indicator has the bearish picks divergence compared with their price okay 
so if you haven't if you if you have um, watched all the video tutorials in our trend filter playlist you will be very familiar with this thing so if you don't please go back that uh, playlist to watch those contents okay so this is my first trend filter the second one um, I have created another one which is our MACD indicator so I want weekly diversion scanner uh, so first one is still using a diversion scanner and this time I combine it with my MACD indicator and also we are picking up we are looking into the weekly chart so I so I choose week here so make sure you all of your filters uh, in all of your filters are you know are looking to the same chart type right um, I mean for some for for my for this example right you can combine with other daily you want to you know dig into details and that's fine but this example I'm using the weekly chart and also the function is the same the bearish picks divergence and then return value is true so I'm going to use this two which means a stock has to um, has two bearish divergence one is RSI bearish divergence another one is MACD bearish divergence I wanted both of them uh, occurred in the stock so that's just my trend filters group here okay let's take a look at the other ones we're using the indicator filters and this time I'm going to show you guys how to create the indicator filters to you know uh, uh, to to describe this sentence right so the mass field indicator relative strength of weakening compared to the overall market okay let's go over indicator filters take a look the that uh, one nice right. okay so in our indicator filter that one so Tesla we have only one conditions here so this time let's modify it so this time I'm using RSM relative strength Mansfield the average on because this indicator default is be using 52 weeks so I'm using the default value 52 weeks um, the compare the comparison so I I have to specify the code right which is the uh, RSM indicator you need to specify you know compared to uh, which uh, which entity so because I want to compare all the my candidates with the overall market so I need to specify code right right hand side of this indicator it's point to uh, our overall market which is the index the index code is in my case it could be in your it could be in different in your uh, in your in your case but in my case is um, that one and um, uh, a a x j o so that is the australia top 200 index okay i'm um, click pick this one uh also i specify chart type as weekly chart and take a look the most important part i'm using here is the function that use i'm um, used here is it's sloping down since last pick all right and that has to be true so i save it so what that mean is uh, your rsm compared to the index which is ASX 200 52 weeks and this RSM indicator has moving down so it doesn't matter it stays above the zero or below zero as long as it is moving downwards that means the compare the, co the relative strength compared to over overall market is weakening so that's all I want um, that's why I specify this indicator filter like this okay so that's how you you uh, create filter like that to if people you know have this sentence uh, this is how we set up the RSM uh, to pick up the uh, overall market's weakening all right okay let's take a look at another one uh, because we also require an indicator filter to find out because we also want to find out stocks with a closing price is below 30 weeks simple moving average and this one is easy uh, this is in our indicator filter as well okay so let's take a look this one so this one is saying your weekly closing price that value means your weekly closing price has to be less 
then it's 30 weeks moving average so i'm picking up the simple moving average i did not check that explanation because in description it just said uh, you want to simple moving average and then we leave this one unchecked okay it's calculation base is the default based on the closing price chart type is weekly chart average on is 30 because it's 30 weeks moving average value okay in this condition means my weekly closing price has to be below the 30 weeks moving average okay so that's that's the um the third condition the finally i want to find out stocks with its 30 week simple moving average sloping down since its last pick okay so i want this 30 weeks moving average itself is moving down so that's let's take a look at the third one all right this condition is 30 weeks moving average sloping down since last pick is true if you modify this uh, so basically you select the simple moving average you know calculate based on close as weekly chart 30 weeks you put 30 here um, the function you're using is sloping down since last pick and it's true right and you save it okay so far we have created all the filters um, that that is ready for the market scam okay so we have created all the filters um, you know according to this descriptions list right now let's go into our mark scan and let's create a mark scan so i have already created here is find weak stocks candidate example one okay uh, first of all you need to select which market you want to scan which is our asx 200 market so in order to show the performance of this market scan um, I'm going to scan up to a historical date and uh, not because because today is 6th of January 2022 I'm gonna scan up to somewhat you know in in the past um, that's 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 why um, because I want to see how this stock you know uh, performed after that date because I'm looking for the weak candidate I'd expected that after that that anything I picked up from <coughs> uh, 20th of Aug October uh, August it the price has to be going down because I'm looking for a weak candidates right so that's why I pick up historic date so in the real uh, if you test it any market scan if you test it by using historical data it shows you the good decent uh, perf uh, the performance and you can use this scan to up to the present day and you can you know use this mark scan results straight away but in here as an example let's scan up to the 20th of uh, August all right now the most important thing is we need to select it, all the filters we just created into the right hand side selected filters let's take a look this one here one by one first of all we are picking up here this one moving average price so it, the weekly closing price has to stay lower than 30 weeks simple moving average so that's the first one the second one is the 30 weeks simple moving average sloping down since last pick is true excuse me that's the second one and there is another one is the rsm indicator compared to our index axjo uh, has to be slowed down since last pick because I want to see the relative strength of our stock is weakening right because we are looking for a weakening candidate okay so that's the indicator filters remember we also created two divergence scanner by using our trend filter so the first one is the bearish divergence uh, by using MACD and the second one is our diver uh, bearish divergence uh, you know by using the RSI so those also in that list okay so as you can see we have created this market scam by using all the filters that we just created so this time we're using a combination of a, a group of indicator filters plus a group of fi trend filters okay the next step is to do the actual market scam all right in order to do the market scan you go into the market scan control panel right here and you just simply run your market scan we just created there um, 
The mark scan name is find weak stock candidates example one. Okay, that's the candidate. <laughs> All right. Um, that's this one, right? Okay, we have run it again. So find weak stocks candidate example one. Let's click the OK uh, start button. So we have one last chance to review our condition setup. Um, first of all, you want to review is the front date. The two date is uh, correct or not. So the two date is we scan up to 20th of um, August, August, you know, 2021. And it's a normal scan. And the second thing you want to verify is all these filters are in place or not. So first one, close in place, less than 30 weeks. Uh, simple moving average. That moving average is slo sloping down since last peak. It's in there. Rel relative strength mass field compared to AXJO is sloping down as well. That's good. And then we have a two um, bearish peaks divergence for the MACD and RSI for weekly chart. So that's all good. Let's click OK, start market scam. Okay, now we have two candidates. Let's go back to here and refresh our result tree. So as you can see in that 20th of uh, August, we have two candidates. Double click on that green uh, item in the tree and you bring up these two candidates here. So the first one is BEN, another one is FMG. So both of them are fulfilled five conditions we've described here. So let's take a look at the first one. Uh, remember the date is 20th of August. August. To better understand, to better explain things, let me just uh, put this one aside and open the chart for you guys. Uh, yeah, maybe do not open in unified setting because there's too many noise there. So let's just take a look here, okay? And first of all, let's apply. Let's bring up our 30 weeks moving average line okay and we need to use this thing to pick up the date so we need to find out where is uh, the 20th 20th of um, uh, of of august it's right here and um, okay what i can do is i'm gonna explain I need to open MACD and also we have used RSI divergence I'm open RSI as well okay and then finally you have to bring up the relative strength mass field indicator a x j o okay so so first of all let's print up the to draw to join two so this red bar actually is the uh, 20th of august 2021 so first one trend filter provide divergence scanner is that peak divergence a uh, bearish divergence let's take a look here so first of all as you can see the price is moving higher and uh, MACD is moving lower, so that's our first MACD divergence. So that's correct. And also, is that uh, RSI divergence? Looks like yes, at least from here. Is that RSI divergence occurred? So finally, um, so this is divergence trend filters uh, fulfilled. That's why this stocks in our um, candidates is picked up by the market scan uh, yes it appears to divergence for MACD and RSI and then the Mansfield indicator has to be sloping down since last 12 so the RSM as you can see right here so the RSM is moving down okay so it's from somewhat above zero and towards move below the zero so for this week right it's right here so this is the weakening sign because compared to overall market uh, 
this stock is underperformed the market and the weakening all right and another conditions we are asking mark scan to pick up for us is saying the 30 weeks moving average has to be sloping down since last uh, sloping down since last peak so from right here you probably cannot see it quite clearly but it looks like a flat but actually it is sloping down a little bit here right so that's correct and the final condition is this week's closing price has to be stays below the 30 weeks moving average so it's also um, correct so that's why this B and Bendigo Adelaide Bank is in our watch is in our results are set okay let's take a look at another one FMG let's do the same thing bring up a 30 week simple moving average and give it uh, a light color so we can see it clearly and also let's take a look at the um, uh, 20th of August 2021 so which buy here so that's this one this this red bar here okay now let's open uh, MACD let's open RSI and also let's turn on relative strength mass fill okay now let's take a look at this one so first of all divergence um, for the price divergence pick so first of all it is somewhat because this uh, pick divergence means that you know previously the stocks price have an equal high so but the MACD has a lower low so that's the divergence and then the RSI also appears have a lower high sorry so first time it's in the overbought but this time it's not even breaks the overbought so as you can see the divergence the dual divergence occurred for this particular stock um, the third condition is we also want to see our uh, relative strength mass view indicator is sloping down since last peak the last peak is right here above zero but this time it's moving downwards and now the value is under zero which means this stocks for this week is underperforming the market so that's what we are looking for okay the finally moving average 30 weeks moving average is, is sloping down right it's sloping down since last peak so it, because it's pointing uh, lower price sorry it's, it's moving down right and last one is this week's closing price has to be stays below the 30 weeks moving average so right here okay so this bar fulfills the conditions okay let's just put this one stay here and we we, we don't we don't close it um, but we close those indicators okay so because we are fine stock candidates examples right suppose you did a market scan that day you pick up this one and you place in short so even though as you can see the price did falling a lot even though somehow it's it's uh, hits the support and then have the strong bouncing back up to present day you still have the if you still hold the short position you still you know profiting so it in the let's take a look here uh, for example let me just add this to to our short watch list and uh, short watch list and let's see what happened if you hold your short position to the present day to right now okay so as you can see the theory we lost your because of short so the more negative uh, value will be better because you still have a 7.58% of uh, profit right however what I'm trying to tell you guys now is um, if if you hold if you not hold your short position like here 
you can cover anytime like somewhere here you will have more profit right that's what i'm saying here uh another one is take a look at the band bandigo this one not um because right here is the scanning picked up so if you short you start short somehow next few weeks and yes you have lots of time to cover your shot even even though right now it's bouncing back to here and then you would have a decent profit right i mean you know even a month's time you can right somewhere here if you cover here and you uh you have much more than a seven percent uh profit okay so looks like this market scan does the job for picking up the weak candidates for us um so as you can see let's bring up let's come back to our slices okay so uh i think up to here you guys will have some feeling how to use the market scan our, our application to uh, pick up the candidates for you to fulfill some of the conditions that you designed to pick up the preferred candidates and then you make a short or long position so no matter what the purpose is your market scan so as you can see you can find something like meaningful right i mean you can in the real world it might really c provide some profit uh if you if you use it properly so first of all uh let's take a look this final slice here is the key issues all right so first one is the bearish divergence from indicators and price action uh, so basically talk about the the bearish uh, divergence you cannot use the divergence itself uh, solely to determine a stock is going to have a price falling or not so basically you cannot use the divergence itself uh, only to to make any decisions because uh, this is not reliable um, reliable phenomenon and it doesn't tell you when the price is going to fall or rise so you really need to use other information combined with the divergence signals and uh, you will increase your winning uh, probability okay so it's all about the probabilities that's why you need actual information to confirm it all right the second one is the more information you have to support a prediction um, the more accurate our prediction would be and it's all about the probability so basically what i'm saying is in in this uh, filter creations right here if you go back here uh, as you can see we have used lots of um, uh, combination right so if more combination or hit the same direction and that will increase your winning uh, your winning your winning probability so it's still a probability you have more signals to point to the same direction uh, to support your prediction and then you have you know you have a higher winning rate okay another one is rsm sloping down can be used to monitor if a stock compared to the overall market or any, any another equity is weakening right so basically uh because it's a relative strength indicator uh that one is very important indicator so you can use the value to determine is outperform or underperform the market and also you can check direction uh you know what is the you know ongoing uh, <coughs> momentum change behind the scene compared to uh, the overall market or compared to another equity finally 30 weeks simple moving average is important all right uh, because i have seen lots of places and lots of people uh, to to tell me to i mean this is the kind of a funny uh, experience right so 30 weeks 30 weeks simple moving average this very fundamental and simple candidate day indicator um, have some <coughs> significant meaning behind the things basically um, i would strongly recommend you, you guys when you have the price close below the 30 moving 30 weeks moving average and also the 30 weeks simple moving average also moving down and don't buy long right i mean so that is just an example here uh, i'll put it here so basically you know up to you guys to to keep testing or verify this but this is the uh, tips that i want to give you guys in this uh, video tutorial okay 
cool i think i have showed you guys a full analysis and filter creation marker scan how you create and then finally to get a result and analyze your analyze your results um the whole process all right so workflow so we just gone through once um hopefully you guys think the contents of this video tutorial is helpful uh, we will provide more such like this uh, uh, content in in our future um, so in our future uh, release or etc so we're gonna update upload some new vid video tutorials in this comprehensive market scan example playlist so make sure you you su subscribe our channel um, you get informed with the new videos is uploaded and also if you have questions please leave your comments below um, and we're trying to answer your questions <coughs> in a timely manner and also the disclaimer I want to emphasize it again uh, all the examples here is just uh, education purpose even though you think it might be useful but you need to try it yourself and also uh, based on the market scan results a human analysis is always required to apply on those res results to filter out further uh, before you make any buy and sell actions okay cool all right uh, thanks for your time and thanks for your your time and thanks for your uh, your patience stay with us in 36 minutes um i think i think i'm gonna say goodbye now and see you guys in the next video tutorial bye for now